வெல்கம் ஆல் லெட்ஸ் கண்டினியூ ஜிஎஸ் ஒன் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் மெயின்ஸ் கொஷன் பேப்பர் டென்த் கொஷன் எக்ஸாமின் த ரோல் ஆஃப் கிக் எக்கானமி இன் த ப்ரோசஸ் ஆஃப் எம்பவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் உமன் இன் இந்தியா அ கிக் எக்கானமி இஸ் அ ஃப்ரீ மார்க்கெட் சிஸ்டம் இன் விச் டெம்பரரி பொசிஷன்ஸ் ஆர் காமன் அண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் ஹையர் இண்டிபெண்ட் ஒர்க்கர்ஸ் ஃபார் ஷார்ட் டேர்ம் கமிட்மெண்ட்ஸ் gig economy can help in process of empowerment of women in india in following ways first point gig economy allows part time work and flexible working hours which allows women to balance their traditional roles like homemakers and caregivers with employment second point gig employment complemented by the work from home and technology has addressed the issues of safety during travel and night shifts also new employment opportunities for women in tier 2 and 3 cities have emerged third point it provides women with on demand work allowing her join and drop out of workforce as per her own will fourth point gig employment helps women earn extra income boost her self confidence and give decision making power all of which are important component of women empowerment however gig economy comes with its own set of constraints such as first one gig economy works purely on market principle of demand and supply it views humans just as another resource easily replaceable low skill gig laborers are exploited by employers there is also lack of certainty regarding availability of work and stability of career second point lack of benefits flexi workers usually are not entitled to minimum wages insurance pf retirement benef- uh, plans paid leave maternity benefits etc third point pay difference permanent employees have a grade pay plus benefits like travel allowance etc gig workers are paid strictly as per the amount of work restricted growth low skill gig workers cannot move up the organizational hierarchy and not considered for promotions in ter- in short term gig economy can be a step towards increasing female labor force participation and women empowerment but in a long run predictable and formal employment with opportunities for upskilling is required 11th question to what extent did the role of the moderates prepare a base for the wider freedom movement comment moderates were the early proponents and leaders of indian national movement associated with the indian national congress they used methods of petitions questioning and debate to vocalize india's national subjugation and need for its annihilation role of moderates in widening the base of india's freedom movement first point moderates provided ideological base for the growth of freedom movement for example dada bhai nauroji's economic critique of colonial rule created conviction about exploitative nature of the british rule in india gopal krishna gokale was the political guru of mahatma gandhi and inspired him to travel around india to learn about the conditions and needs of the nation Gandhi would later catalyze biggest mass movements in the history of the world. Third point, moderates created an understanding of common political, economic and cultural interest of Indians across the length and breadth of the country. Fourth point, council reforms such as the Indian Council Act 1892 expanded the scope of political participation for Indians. Fifth point, the lack of success of moderate method unintentionally provoked the rise of extremist faction which arose masses against the british such as during swadeshi movement however moderate achievements in mobilizing masses was limited as shown below first point moderate came from homogeneous background of professionals like lawyers second point they neither provided sub substantive nor descriptive representation of masses 
many of the moderates were convinced about the fundamental fundamentally good nature of british rule unaware of its stark repercussions of for the common poor the cause of mass politics was harm due to moderates uh, instant 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 which led to surat split in congress and years of inactivity in the national politics despite of positive role played by moderates in furthering the cause of uh, indian india's independence their role in providing a mass base to freedom struggle was limited it was not until the phenomena called mahatma gandhi happened that indian masses would find a voice and face in the freedom struggle 12th question bring out the constructive programs of mahatma gandhi during non cooperation movement and civil disobedience movement constructive programs are the social work initiatives of mahatma gandhi launched during the inactive phase of freedom struggle constructive programs are said to have played role a role of keeping moral of congress workers high widening the meaning of swaraj and preparation for the next phase of struggle the constructive programs of mahatma gandhi during non cooperation and civil dis- disobedience movement consisted of following work satyagraha sabha made uh, made from members of home rule leagues was organized before non cooperation movement methods of strike was combined with fasting and praying promotion of khadi and village industries through use of spinning wheels khadi bandar and boycott of foreign clothes next promotion of hindu muslim unity was emphasized in messaging and symbol symbolism through network of ashrams across village removal of untouchability was worked upon through work among lower caste and tribals for example badoli satyagraha next role played by constructive programs in non cooperation and civil disobedience movement first point volunteers promoting use of khadi provided ground workers and support during civil disobedience movement during non cooperation movement constructive program kept up the spirit of people in the wake of disappointment due to the suspension of movement constructive work expanded the reach of the national movement across caste and class barriers constructive programs of mahatma gandhi provided the spread of freedom struggle created training arena for them and expanded the social base of the national movement 13th question there there arose a serious challenge to the democratic state system between the two world wars evaluate the statement the world wars have been analyzed from multiple perspectives of cause and factors leading to the crisis challenges challenge to democratic state system was the fundamental challenge in the interwar years in light of event that followed several changes of two democratic state system emerged in interwar years such as rise of hitlers to power hitler to power in germany was amidst weak institutional checks nazi party soon became the only political party in germany communism was banned constitution was suspended poor conceptualization of minority rights facilitated ethnic targeting of jews and romanis and growth of imperialistic ideas of lebens lebensarum political intolerance of communism by the capital list block countries led to oversight of german access such as munich agreement spanish civil war was a result of unresolved political content contestation between national party and the communist party rise of ultra nationalism and conscription promoted militarism in 
international politics militant rise of fascist under mussolini in italy was supported by liberal classes however the challenges of democratic state system were not only limited to the interwar years first point the democratic traditions in germany had been weak since days of bismarck the major democracies of the time from usa to uk had been practicing colonialism which is fundamentally opposite of democratic ideals self interest of capitalist country and support of dictatorial regimes in germany and italy had domestic dis, uh, democratic legitimacy in uk france etc due to economic and ideological reasons the interwar period saw crisis of democratic values as we understand them today the democratic shortcomings actively led the world to the second world war 14th question briefly mention the alignment of major mountain ranges of the world and explain their impact on local weather conditions with example A mountain range is a sequential chain of mountains or hills with similarity in alignment. The major mountain ranges of the world include the Himalayas, the Alps mountain range, the Atlas mountain range, the Andes mountain range and the Rocky mountain ranges. The alignment of these ranges and their impact on local weather conditions can be seen as first one the Himalayas. Himalayas extend for a 250 km from west to east in an arc shaped manner. They protect the Indian subcontinent from the frigid dry winds blowing from the Tibetan plateau. It acts as barrier for monsoon winds ca- cause rainfall in India. It also is responsible for the for the for formation of Taklamakan and Gobi desert as they fall in the rain shadow uh, area second one the alps it is the highest mountain range from the uh, sister, highest mountain range system of europe stretching for 1200 km west to east across eight alpine countries such as france switzerland italy etc it influence precipitation patterns in south europe and eurasia Alps influence presence and direction of local winds like Foyan, Mistrels, etc. Third one, the Atlas. The Atlas mountain range stretches through Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia in the southwest to northeast direction. It separates the Mediterranean region from the Sahara Desert. It causes high rainfall in the region between them and the Mediterranean Sea by capturing the moisture laden winds they also act as a rain shadow preventing the rainfall in the desert region of Sahara third fourth one the Andes they are the longest continental mountain range in the world they extend fourth one the Andes They are the longest continental mountain ranges in the world. They extend from north to south through seven South American countries. The north, east and the southwest parts of the Andes is rainy and moist. The Andes act as the rain shadow for the Atacama Desert. Fifth one, the Rockies. Rockies extend from the northernmost part of British Columbia to New Mexico in southwest southwestern United States. the size and the local play important parts in formation of warm snow eater chinook winds uh, ro- rockies capture the moisture laden winds from the pacific and cause ample rainfall in its windward side which uh, while giving a rain shadow effect to the desert in southwest north america mountain ranges play an important role in influencing the local weather patterns and lifestyle of the people for this reason they are important for not only the geography but also the various cultural and economic factors 15th question how do the melting of arctic ice and glaciers of antarctic 
डिफरेंटली एफेक्ट द वेदर पैटर्न्स एंड ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज ऑन द अर्थ एक्सप्लेन Arctic is an ocean covered by thin layer of perennial sea ice and surrounded by land while Antarctica is a continent covered by a very thick ice cap the melting of ice and glaciers in the uh, two affects the weather pattern and human activities differently is uh, as seen below in arctic region warming of the arctic has seen to be related by the scientists to slowing of the jet stream and its looping southwards melting of ice in arctic has made the enso cycle erratic and higher emergence of el nino events melting of arctic ice is linked to central pacific trade winds intensification weakening of extra tropical cyclones melting of arctic ice will lead to extreme weather events in the middle latitudes melting of arctic ice might lead to opening of north sea route for global trade having both time and cost reduced reduced opportunities for the native population for subsistence hunting fishing and herding rise in temperature is likely to cause physiological stress in people adapted uh, to be living in cooler climates next changes in antarctic melting of glaciers in antarctic will lead to slowing of at, uh, atlantic meridional overturning circulation disrupting gulf stream the warming of antarctic will cause colder winds and hotter summer in north atlantic melting of antarctic glaciers is linked with extreme weather events in europe the warming of antarctic circumpolar currents can aggravate the effect of global warming melting of antarctic glacier could raise the sea level substantially affecting the peoples on seas melting of antarctic glaciers will enhance the incidence of coastal erosion and strong surges causing loss of life livelihood for coastal people the melting of ice and glaciers in arctic and antarctic will have irreversible consequences for the human as well as the global weather patterns the need for of the r is to adapt sustainable approach to minimize the effect of global warming